Council Robert Mueller's message. It is raging on his unexpected appearance. It's leaving Washington to parse comments like this one. The opinion says that the Constitution requires a process other than the criminal justice system to formally accuse a sitting president of wrongdoing. Attorney General Bill Barr delivering a rebuttal of sorts yesterday, saying that he thought Mueller could have reached a conclusion. The New York Times sums up the divide with this headline, Mueller delivered a message Washington couldn't agree on what it means. Joining us now, Democratic strategist Antoine Seawright, former senior advisor to Hillary Clinton's campaign in South Carolina, and Boston Herald radio host Adriana Cohen, also a nationally syndicated columnist. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Antoine, Good morning. how do you explain this divide? Did Mueller's remarks move the conversation forward at all, in your view? Well, I don't think it moved the conversation forward. I think it confirmed what we already know. It's what I said to you several weeks ago in this program. I think the special prosecutor gave the Congress an alley-oop on a seven-foot rim in order to slam dunk. Now, the question for the Congress, particularly the Democratic majority in the House, is what happens next? I've been very clear and consistent uh, about the philosophy of Rob Bates. It takes two to make the thing go right. I think that Congress has to focus on investigating and legislating. What we know is that not many people uh, are totally in support of this idea of impeachment. We also know that not many people in this country, particularly voters, have even read the report or very familiar with the report. So I think at this point, the Congress has, has to continue to be methodical uh, and flushing out the cup of corruption that overflow from this administration and set the case for what happens next. And if, that's, if that is impeachment, we have to build a public case to have public support because we got in the majority in Congress because we focus on quality of life issues. And I think that's what the American people are expecting us to do, not necessarily focus 100 percent on impeachment. Adriana, some Democrats and other observers, including Mueller biographer Gary Graff, consider Mueller's remarks his way of saying his report was an impeachment referral to Congress. Is that plausible? Uh, I think it was. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, Bob Mueller um, really did the country a lot of harm by, by presenting nuance, um, which is bad for our country. Basically, he, after a 22-month exhaustive investigation with 19 lawyers, they turned over every stone. They could not find that the President of the United States committed a crime. If he did, they would have brought charges. And the fact that they didn't, and he even said That's not he true. had insufficient, That's not true. That's he had not true. insufficient evidence, no. then um, it's case closed. I mean, no. if... These no, no. You, you didn't. You absolutely did not pay attention to the special prosecutor's comments early this week. He clearly laid out in his press conference: if the president did not commit a crime, he the report would have said so. So that does not mean he did not commit a crime. What it means is that the special prosecutor felt like in his body of work, what he was called to do or challenged to do, he could not necessarily bring about those charges. But what most people took from that, Democrats and Republicans, that yes. The Congress has a job to continue to drag this out, investigate, and flush this out to see what happens next. So to say that the president committed a crime is just a lie on a Saturday morning. In fact, I would call it a political no, malpractice no, on your part. No. No, 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 I disagree. Look, he's a prosecutor, and his job is to either find if a crime was committed or not. He shouldn't now, be Adriana, in the business Adriana, of politics. He, he said it was OLC guidelines. Waters. He was trying to follow OLC guidelines. He made it very clear that he could not charge um, the president with a crime because he could not defend himself in any court. Other than, and so that's why he said it was, under, it was another body, i.e. Congress, and it was up to them. He was just simply laying out the evidence. Yeah, yes, but also, Attorney General, let me speak, Antoine. It's my okay. turn to speak. Uh, you know, Attorney General Barr said that he spoke with uh, Bob Mueller and he told him on three separate, three times with witnesses present that he did not bring it. What he did not not bring charges because of the Office of Legal Counsel rules. He didn't bring charges because there was insufficient evidence. That's, That's a true. big difference here. Okay, it so is. I mean, so, okay. if, look. It, 
So, so Adriana, let me, let me ask you this. Why in the world do we not have Trump's appointed AG, who we all know has pledged his allegiance to Donald Trump based on his behavior, why in the world would he not sit himself down before the Congress and allow them to question him and flush this out? Because the AG was very clear in his report, and he was very clear in his follow-up press conference just the other day that Trump has not been exonerated by his report. Now, maybe you oh, interpreted well, something different based on your Let me explain the law to politics. you, Antoine. Antoine, let me explain the law to you. It's not a prosecutor's job to not exonerate someone. Uh, we have a presumption of innocence in this country, and uh, you either charge someone with a crime, and if you can't find one, they are innocent. And so what Bob Mueller's you done is flipped our entire if you don't justice have the system to on its head because he's now forcing the accused to prove their innocence and that's not the way our legal system works and so I have a column out right now saying it's Bob Mueller who should be censored if not disbarred for malpractice. Well, well you, let me tell you what I believe. I believe that the special prosecutor should come before Congress. I believe that the Congress should do its job and having Trump's AG come before Congress so the American people can know. What we do know is that, that Russia hacked into our elections for the sake of Donald Trump helping Donald J. Trump become the president of the United States. In fact, the president admitted it himself uh, just a few days ago on Twitter. Therefore, what we need to do, as the special prosecutor said, one, we should definitely pay attention to that, and the Republicans are pressing the ignore button on that issue. But two, I think that the American people deserve to know everything that happened and how it happened and why it happened and who was involved, because at the end of the day, the report, the report did not exonerate the president. You can write all the columns you want. Want. You can yell and scream at me to try to uh, to prove no some point yelling, to Antoine. people. No one's yelling, I'm giving you the to facts. Prove a point to I'm giving you the facts. No one's yelling here. But at the end of the day, you know I'm right. No, I don't believe you're right at all. And I think we need full transparency as to the origins of this entire special counsel investigation. Republicans are all for transparency. Let's talk about the, well, the discredited dossier that Hillary Clinton paid for that made its way into our justice system with the help of the Obama administration and uh, you know James Comey. Uh, he said the dossier was salacious and unfair, unverified, and yet he still allowed it to be used as a cudgel against a, a political opponent, Donald Trump. We cannot have our justice it, system it, weaponized for political purposes. Listen, it, it, if, you all, if you all are all about transparency, and I don't mean convenient transparency, if you all are all about transparency, then why won't Trump signal to his AG to testify before the Congress? Why is he telling his disciples and his associates to not go before the Democrats? Democratic, the Democratic right. Congress and testify. Because this is a never-ending witch hunt. The case is okay, closed. Adriana, Adriana. The prosecutor found no collusion, no obstruction. <laughs> Adriana, Adriana, Antoine, that's called oversight. We're going to have to pick this up another day. I appreciated the spirit of debate, as always. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. The tale of the transcript me. in the Michael Flynn side.